All right, let's talk about a different kind of commission. This is called graduated commission because the commission you're paid changes depending on how many sales you make. So the more you sell, the higher your commission rate goes. We have an example here, so let's take a look. It says Terrence McGraw sells lumber. He earns 4% commission for the first $5,000 in sales that he makes, 6% on the next $5,000, 10%, and then 10% on anything over $10,000. Okay, so notice the first little bit he makes a lower rate of 4%. The next bit he jumps up to 6%. And finally, if he gets doing really well, then he gets 10% on that last little bit. So what we have to do is break it up. It says he sold $18,000 worth of lumber last month. So we start with the first $5,000. Okay, he gets 4% commission for that. So we take the 0 .04 for our 4% times the first 5,000. We're going to add to that the next 5,000. The commission here on that is 6%. So we do 0 .06 times 5,000. Plus, we're moving up from there. So then it says the last bit is 10%. So that would be 0.1 if we move our decimal over two places. And in here, we have to put our amount. Now, it's for everything over $10,000, and okay, so this was the first $5,000 plus $5,000 more is $10,000. How much is left? So let's subtract $10,000 and see there's $8,000 left that he's going to get this commission for. Okay. Now we just figure these out. Now make sure you do your multiplication first, so multiply each part. So take .04 times $5,000. That gives us $200 plus 0 .06 times 5,000 gives us $300 plus 0 .1 times 8,000 gives us $800. Make 200 plus 300 plus 800. He would make 1,000. Maybe that's not real clear. $1,300 in commission. Okay, we're going to do a few more like that. All right. Let's take a look at Palmy here. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a graduated commission, but instead of using percentages, it's using numbers of demonstrations. So she demonstrated new software to potential customers. She gets $12 each for the first 10 demonstrations and $15.50 for everything over 10 demonstrations. What's her commission if she makes 12 demonstrations? So again, we have two chunks here. The first 10, she's going to get $12 for each, and the next 10, she's going to get $15.15 .15 each. Okay, well, for the first 10, she gets paid $12, so 12 times 10 would give us her pay there. Plus, how many are left? She only made 12 presentations, so if we take out the first 10, there's just two left. So for those last two, she gets $15.50. Let's go ahead and multiply that. 12 times 10 is 120, and 15.50 times 2 is 31. Add those together and she will be paid $151. Right now we're to Mary Robertson's. She sells at a tire car service center. <laughs> she gets 8% commission for the first 1,000. 10% on the next 2,000 and 15% for everything over 3000 She had sales of $3,800. What is her commission going to be? Again, you want to break it up into groups. We have three groups. We have 8% commission, 10% um, commission, and 15%. Okay, so we break that into our groups. 0.08 times a number, 0.1 times another, and 
The 8% is for the first thousand. Okay, so that's going to be times a thousand. The 10% is for the next 2,000, which we do have enough to go 1,000, 2,000, we're just up to 3,000, and we get to go to 3,800. Plus, what's left over? She gets 15% for everything over 3,000, if she sold $3,800 worth. There's $800 left that we haven't taken a look at. So that's the part over 3,000 on the end here. Go ahead and do the multiplication. So if we take uh, 0.08 times 1,000, we get 80. 0.1 times 2,000 is 200. And 0.15 times 800 is 120. We go ahead and total those and we get 400. So her total commission would be $400. Right here we're at Lorena, Lorena Fraser. Um, Lorena sells children's clothing at a specialty boutique. Now she is guaranteed $1,250 a month. Plus, she gets commission of 3.25% of her total sales. To the nearest dollar, how much sales must learn and make to earn $2,500 in her monthly gross pay. Okay, so this is again, we're going kind of backwards here. Um, we're trying to find the sales instead of trying to find her pay. Okay, so we know what her total pay is. Um, and to find the total pay, you would take the minimum salary and add to that any commission. Okay, well, let's take a look. What was her total pay? Her total pay was $2,500. What was her minimum monthly salary? Her minimum monthly salary was $1,250. And how would I figure out her commission? Well, it's 3.25%. Move the decimal two places to the left, so 0 0.0325 times her sales. And that was the question. How much does she need to make in sales? So here we have our equation. If we pull out our algebra skills, we'll be able to solve this. And we want to solve for S over here. We want it to be all alone, so we're going to start by moving the 1,250. It's positive, so if we subtract it from both sides, that will remove it, and we have 1,250 equals 0.0325S. We, again, we want S all alone. It's multiplied by 0 0.0325. So if we do the opposite and divide, both sides by 0 0.0325, we get 38,000. $461.54. So her sales would have had to have been $38,461.54 in order for her to have um, earned $2,500.